Morning everyone. Today's going to be a really good day for us. It's supposed to be uh, overcast most of the day. Uh, no rain is in the forecast. It's supposed to be about 76 degrees and humidity is way down from yesterday. So it's going to be a lot more comfortable for us to work in today. And uh, we have a bunch of yards to do out in the country again today. So we're going to go do them first and work our way back into town. And it should be a busy, busy day for us. And we have to be done at a certain time today again because uh, we have uh, things to do later on this afternoon. So uh, let's get the trailer loaded up and let's get started. Okay, we are at uh, a brand new yard right now. We cut it once two weeks ago and I forgot to set a camera up. So I'm gonna set the camera up and do the best I can. This yard's kind of chopped up, but um, it'll be a fairly decent video. I think well, it'll be something for you to watch anyhow. <laughs> Okay, so we finished this uh, yard up and 
now I have the hard time of I have to back out into this road. I couldn't back in because the amount of traffic, now I have to back out into the traffic. So I'm going to have to time one light to stop the traffic long enough for me to back out. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem, but it could be. I have to go up that yeah, way. Yeah, we're gonna have to go that way. And I can back out. Problem I have is signs. There's signs all the way down this road and I can't see past them. So, and we're out. Only stopped uh, two cars, that's not too bad. So now we're gonna go on to uh, the yard. We really don't like cotton, but it's uh, my buddy's uh, mother's house, so we're just gonna take care of her. So, and no one else would do it, so we kind of volunteered to do that. We still get paid for it, but it's just a nuisance yard, so off to this next yard. Okay, we just finished up another yard, and I wanted to talk about a couple things. There's been a lot of people waving to me lately, just because I think they're starting to recognize the truck, and uh, I don't always wave back because I don't always see them, so if I'm not waving to you, I'm sorry. Um, another thing is, uh, I just found out something, or just something happened today, or in this yard, that I forgot how painful it is to get stung by a bee. Trimmed up some lilac uh, trees, and I was weed whacking around there, and one nailed me right in a leg, like right through my uh, shorts. So it was not a not a comfortable feeling. And I got stung by a deer fly right in the neck, <laughs> and it's swollen already. So yeah, it's gonna probably kill me now because it won't kill you because I swell up so bad from them deer fly bites. It's horrible. So. Yeah, she does swell up a lot, but she might be exaggerating the bond to kill him part. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, and then the blood suckers and mosquitoes are out bad <laughs> yeah. today, too. Yeah, because we've had rain. So, it's... Uh, um, where I got bit by that bee is right where uh, my wallet rubs all day long. So, I'm going to have to take my wallet out of my pocket. And it's... <laughs> yeah, I said, it's, I said, son of a gun, that hurt. So, anyhow, we're gonna go off to our next yard here. Okay, I guess today's the day we're dealing with bees. Um, you've seen this yard before. This is the one where, uh, this is the yard we move the trampoline usually with the mowers. Well, Vicki went to move it and she found a bunch of bees. So I am going to spray them because I don't want anybody getting stung, including myself. The homeowner does have grandchildren that use the or that come around once in a while and they use the trampoline a little bit and we don't want anybody to get stung so uh, this is what I use I use the Spectricide Pro Wasp and Hornet Killer I get that at Home Depot is like three dollars a can or four dollars a can or something like that it seems to work the best for me so that's what I use and I don't Vicky somewhat knocked the nest down by moving the trampoline or I don't know if you can see any of that. Now you can see the bees, but I'm just trying not to get stung, so I'm just going to spray it and be done with it. So I don't know how much of that you saw. Hopefully you saw it enough there. I just can't see it because the glare on the screen and my uh, sunglasses are not... I don't have no lines in them so I can read anything, so I can't see the screen very well. But that's all I have to do with it, and the bees will never be back there ever again. So that's why I like using that stuff. Because Even with the big nest, I just spray it a little bit like that, and then they're gone. And I never have to worry about them. One other thing about this house, or this yard, this tree, from here on out the rest of the season, will be dropping leaves. So I will have to bag this front yard every time we come here for the rest of the season. So anyhow, uh, this yard, that tree is dropping the leaves about a month early. So it's not going to be good the rest of the year on that. And then uh, irrigation person finally got back here to adjust the irrigation. That's how far behind he is. It's what, August. So he turned them on in May because after the snow left and then it took all the way to now to, for him to get back here. So and then uh, I will put a link up here if I remember of uh, us in, uh, in this yard and moving the trampoline, how we do that. So uh, 
now we're gonna go off to the next yards. Okay, we're uh, back in town. We skipped over three yards out there. Don't need to be cut. Um, that area must not have got any rain like we did. So none of it's growing. Now one of them's gonna be a little overgrown in a couple spots, that's about it. The one we just cut was really dusty. Yeah, so we have one yard left and it'll be a, you see now one plenty of times too, but <clears throat> it's uh, still kind of nice getting done early. I was gonna have a, or I tried to get a video of a um, military transport plane going over, but I thought I hit record on uh, my phone and I did not. So my phone's out in the sun. I can't tell if it's a red circle or a red square. Why the iPhones have both buttons red, I don't know, but I can't tell which is which because I don't have my regular glasses on and I just have these sunglasses on with their nose prescription because I can't cut grass with the glasses on because I just can't, my depth perception's off. So we're gonna go cut our last lawn and go from there. So our yards are all done finally. Um, we just had to drop off a bill to one of our customers because uh, he's got two properties and somehow only one bill got to him. But you know, that, that stuff happens. But anyhow, so uh, that is going to be the end of our video for today. I thank you for watching and subscribing. If you can check out the links in the description box below, it would be greatly appreciated. Have a good evening and see you at the next yard. Bye.